Too bad she has her headphones on, otherwise I'd be able to tell her that her guitar is not plugged into the wall. And having heard that, you know it's time for Nagato Nights on Friday. We're kicking things off on a pretty sad, bitter note. And we're trying to get happier as it goes, because I'd rather not kill the mood at the end. I'd rather kill it and then try to bring it back. So we're going to begin. I'm warning you, this is pretty bad stuff right here. A while ago I mentioned that uh, Christian Bale may or may not have been uh, offered a large amount of money if he came back and did Batman and the Superman Batman fight movie. And also that Latino Review said by the end of the month we'll know who is going uh, to play Batman in that movie. Unfortunately they were right. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Batman is Ben Affleck. Oh gosh, why Ben Affleck? Now admittedly, the only uh, movie I've seen him in is Daredevil. And that was my only problem with Daredevil, was I didn't like how he portrayed Matt Murdock. He just didn't seem right for it. And admittedly, I don't know what he can do as an actor, but from what I've seen in Daredevil, I am not thrilled. So, down in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Ben Affleck will be a good Batman? Or do you think he will muck this up? Uh, so let me know down there. And, uh, the link to the article is in the description, as always. I almost did something Skyrim-y to kick this off. Be glad I didn't. I have no background experience with the Dragon's Age series, but Dragon's Age 3 Inquisition has me pretty excited. Here's what I know about Dragon's Age Inquisition. So, everyone's at war with each other, and while they're all busy trying to kill each other, this rift in the sky opens up and starts letting all the demons into the world. And your character is like, this is way too convenient. Somebody's got to be behind this. And so you form the Inquisition, a neutral group that has no allegiance to any th other group, and had, is supposed to have, anyway, uh, authority o is it, to go where the other groups don't want them to go in order to stop this. This sounds like all the political intrigue I've ever wanted. As in, I get to expose corrupt politicians and find out who's behind it all. I like that. It'll be fun. So, uh, down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for Dragon's Age Inquisition? Maybe if you guys know more about Dragon's Age than I do, uh, share anything about Dragon's Age down there as well. You like your favorite moments, favorite character. Uh, just, you know, share. Dirge, dirge. Shockwave, what is it? I need you to stand right there. Uh, okay. Why? I need someone to distract Grimlock so I can get away. Okay. Wait, Grimlock? It's pretty popular with the fans that the Dinobots have been brought back in Transformers Fall of Cybertron and had their own comic in the Prime Universe, and may even be in the upcoming Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Predacon Rising movie. So it's no wonder that people are believing that they're also going to be brought in for Transformers 4. And when Michael Bay tweets something like, how the scene they're shooting today is going to feature a chase from HE double hockey sticks. You can see why the fans are going to continue to speculate that the Dinobots are going to show up. What comes to mind when you think of that? In my case, it was this. Hey, Psylocke. Remember that time you and the rest of the X-Men teamed up with the Star Trek guys? Who are you talking about? Star Trek? That's just a TV show. They're not real. But you guys teamed up with them once back in the 80s. I'll oh, get a life stuck. Stop making things up. At the end of the movie Star Trek Into Darkness, uh, the Enterprise leaves on a five-year mission to explore a strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, and to boldly go where no one has gone before. Which leaves us in a familiar position, as in the start of the original TV show. And leave it to Captain James T. Kirk himself, William Shatner, 
to come to the rescue with an idea. Start a new TV show. What I'd like to see in a new Star Trek show, if possible, is get the cast of the movie and have them do their own version of the original series. You know, like they have been in the movie so far, you know, where it's like, it's based off of, but at the same time it's their own spin on it. I'd like to see that for the show. Um, if not that, I don't know what else they could do, but I hope they do it well. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, should we do a new Star Trek TV show? And if so, what should it be? So, let's begin the discussion. What do you guys think it should be? Again, I like the idea of uh, continuing where the movie left off. We'll see. And remember, this is not confirmed. They're, they haven't said they're going to do a new Star Trek TV show. This is just William Shatner thinks that they should. Which is amazing that he actually gives a care about Star Trek. He tends to uh, begrudgingly get involved because he was typecast as Captain Kirk. He couldn't get out of that role. Uh, but yeah, so what do you guys think? That's it for now. Uh, stick to for feature presentation. By the way, I'm going to stop titling the feature presentations. Like, I'm gonna stop titling a feature presentation, then number, I'm just gonna title them what they are. For example, tonight's going to be my least favorite Pokemon, so it's gonna say, Say Jay's least favorite Pokemon at the top, not feature presentation, whatever number we're on right now. Um, and then, of course, Mewki Monday next week. Be glad to see you then. Bye, Nee! Dudge, dudge. Scrap. Outtakes.